Hello, my wonderful women. Whom do you think God loves? In fact, for which deeds, for which actions does God reward? Do you want to know? And I would like to tell you all about it, as it means, in fact, comprehending a very important cosmic law. Well, let's sort out whom God loves in this life. First of all, let's understand what the most important thing for God on this earth is. Ask yourself this question. The most important thing for God is that every person should aspire to Him. Every person should become closer through His, her, heart. How to do this? Some people pray. Some people follow the spiritual way. But the most important thing that God always encourages is helping other people. We learn through situations that happen to us in life. We are teachers and disciples of this life. We meet many people in our lives. We sometimes pass by a person who may be sad, disappointed, depressed, and we may be so occupied with our own thoughts that we don't even notice. And God shows us these people for a reason. He seems to say, look, you can help this person. And today, I want to talk to you about it, as God showed me many years ago how we can fully change the destiny of a person by helping other people. And it may seem that it's impossible to change anything. However, everything is possible. A student came to me many years ago. Her child had a very difficult diagnosis. The doctor said, there is nothing we can do. Science is powerless. Pray, hope for a miracle. And she came to me in search of this miracle. I looked and asked the spirits, how can I help this woman? What can be done to heal her child while all the doctors refuse to help? And then the spirits answered when she didn't really expect it. They said, help people. She replied, I help people. The spirit said again, help people. Then she asked, how can I help people? I asked the spirits and they said, she has to look at those who are around her who need help more than she does. She came home and saw that a woman who had no relatives and friends lived on the ground floor of her apartment building. She was in a wheelchair and couldn't even go out to breathe fresh air. She was looking out of the window for days, hoping that something will happen in her life. She met this woman and said, I want to make a holiday for you. And I just wanted to take her for a walk every day and let her see with her own eyes this light, feel fresh air, feed birds out of her hand as the park was located nearby. She assumed this service and decided to help this woman. She would come home, clean her house as this woman has no relatives and friends. She was absolutely alone. And literally, after six months of performing this selfless duty, she came home and saw her son, who was earlier bedridden. The boy put his feet down from the bed and took his first steps. This was only the beginning of his healing. You may say that this miracle is not related to helping this woman. On the contrary, it is directly related. When we start helping other people, when we start serving this world, unbelievable miracles happen. I can give you examples of 1,000 such miracles in life, but we'll study this example in more detail. Why has this disease passed on in the family? The reason is that there was a very strong spirit of egoism in the lineage. Members of the lineage didn't notice other people, didn't see their pain and suffering. And when the woman saw that other people also needed help, she started serving at least one person by making her life busier, brighter, forgetting about herself and her difficulties. 
God said, she deals with the spirit of egoism of her lineage. She is simply destroying it in full in her lineage. So what is the reason to teach her this lesson? Let her son be healed and the negative spirit go away from her lineage. Her son was healed. But the woman didn't give up the idea of serving this world. Then she thought, I can help only one woman. But if I tell other women, they may also want to help. And she was able to inspire a few more women. Then a few more women. And they help more than 100 women in their city every day now. Imagine that it was the beginning of the forming of her soul of predestination. You may certainly say, what can I do? How can I serve this world? Dear women, in many different ways, each of us chooses his or her own way to serve. For example, the simplest thing you can do now is to look for how many people who are immersed in themselves are around you. They may have a somber facial expression as they have some pain in their heart, some problems, complicated situations. Go up and support them. If you don't know how to or feel shy, then write a note. Put a photo, a picture, send an important life-affirming phrase via a messenger to this person, or maybe a song or a movie something that will give a new boost to this person. Support the person with a smile. Do something that you've never done before. You may certainly pass by a person who needs clothes, a warm blanket. So many people need it. Give it to a person if you can. Feed a hungry person. Choose the way of serving this world that you can choose. You may want to come to my seminar and pray, meditate, awaken the power of prayers of our hearts, pray for the entire world. And this is your charity as well. Some of you will go further and you'll come to the masterclass seminar where you'll deal with karmic situations of your lineage, city, country more deeply. And it will be your great charity. And you may feel vitality in yourself, become a muse and inspirator for other women and organize a seminar in your city and will gladly come. It will be your service to the world, your city and country. Choose the way of your soul that is closer to your heart. But if you don't know how to do it, write to me. You will perhaps join our charity event that will take place in your city or country. Or you may find people who need help and will help them together. God always encourages those who help dedicatedly without expecting praise, but just by serving people. Find an opportunity to help God. Find an opportunity to help this world. Let's make this world better together. You have gained new knowledge. And now it's time for you to become a ray of light to new people. Share this video with them. Invite them to become part of the field of love. Come with them to our classes and seminars. Help others and God will help you.